welcome back, here we are going to be making a small jump pad tutorial. So I'll just show you what this ends up like. Okay, so this is my jump pad here. And what we're going to do is when we go on it, it sends us flying in the direction that we're looking in. So this is good for any sort of little shooters, uh, it's commonly used in the actual Unreal Tournament game, so you might have seen it before, Borderlands. Okay. And to show you the code, uh, this is the blueprint code that ends up looking like. So as you can see we're having to grab variables from different classes and putting them all together to make a new velocity. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are in our first person tutorial template. And first of all, what we need to do is we need to go down here to our blueprints folder in first person blueprints in the content folder create a new blueprint class and select actor and we're going to name this jump pad okay now all the code takes place in this blueprint we actually have to do nothing with the player itself so we just double click on this to open it up and this is the viewport so what we want to do is we want to add a component and if you've already made a jump pad static mesh you can add it in here for now I'm just going to use a simple cylinder and I'm going to set my Z scale to something like 0 0.05 to give it that pad sort of feeling and we want to go to collision here and overlap all okay now we'll go to the event graph and we don't need any of these so we can just delete them now left click the cylinder left clicking the cylinder makes it so the context for all the actions takes place to the cylinder when we want add on component begin overlap so when a component goes over this event will happen so I'm going to bring this off and I'm going to do cast to character and the reason we do this is because we're going to say right when something overlaps is it a character so we need to put our other actor to this so it checks if the other actor is your character we we'll go as character here so now we want the variable or class that is related to the character which will be our movement we want our character movement class get character from here we want to set movement mode and I'm going to set this to falling and what this does is this will set the movement mode so it's like if the character is running or jumping so any animations or anything that go with this movement mode will be played what we want to do is bring it off character movement set velocity there it is and place that into that so now we're going to set our velocity now if they go on the pad at the minute the velocity is going to just be set to zero overall now remember to make sure that is connected to the target as i said before otherwise it's going to set the velocity for the jump pad so I'm going to go to this bit here, I'm going to right click and split struct pin. So now we can import a separate x, y and z value. So to show you this very simply, I'm going to put a thousand into the z velocity value compiler. So bring this into the world by just dragging and dropping. Play. Now when I go onto it, as you can see, it launched me into the air. So now we want to actually get this to have a decent playable value. What we're going to do is we're going to get our player camera management. Okay, so this is going to get the camera, and from here we want to get actor forward vector by dragging off this return value. Now we need to do this during the camera so it can get the right way of which way the camera is pointing. All will become clear in a moment. Dragging off here, we want to do break vector. And we want to take the x value as the forward vector is in the x direction. We want a float multiplied by float. You can use any value you want here. I'm going to use a thousand. And I'm going to put that into my velocity x. Now, off this value again, we want to get the actor's rotation. And off the return value, you want to get rotation x vector. And of this we want to copy and paste these two and break our vector into there and get our y value instead of our x and I'll put that into our y so this will get the position the player is looking in so now when we go over to this jump pad 
it will launch us in this way, this way, it launches us that way. So it launches you forwards in the way you are facing. You can set this to launch you in a certain way, such as you can just break these links. And if we set this to 500, go over to it, it sends us 500 this way, in that x direction. And if you set it to negative 500, it sends you that way. Okay, so it's a simple way to create a blueprint jump pad in the Unreal Engine 4. If you like the video, give it a like, dislike if you did, leave a comment if your opinions are otherwise, if you have any suggestions or questions, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, bye.